Hold up. Hey guys, it's Jaden from Tech for Days, and yup, you know it, we have another Levin Red Pepper case to unbox and water test today. This is for the iPhone 6. It's redesigned, as you guys can see. It looks completely different than the other ones I have reviewed before. This thing looks a lot better, and I'm really glad they actually redesigned it their own way this time, because a lot of the times I've been getting people saying that it looks like the life proof or that they copied them, which is kind of true. It does look like it, but now it looks completely different. We haven't even seen the life proof case for the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus or the iPad Air 2 yet because we're waiting for life proof to actually release them. So now they don't have anything to base their case off of. So it's nice to see that they actually redesigned or designed their own case. So we're going to go ahead and go over the features in this case. So it's IP68 certified, fully submersible up to 6.6 .6 feet. You can use the finger um, identification feature. It's applicable to the 4.7 inch iPhone, so not the 6 Plus. They will be releasing a 6 Plus one where I will put my 6 Plus in the water, hopefully. Just maybe. I have that on order. Oops, I might have just gave away something. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Might be getting a 6 Plus video soon. So here it says waterproof, shockproof, snowproof, dirtproof. And the picture looks really awesome. There's like ice cubes. There's like a bunch of just cool details. It just looks really awesome. It's really, really something to appreciate. The artwork is just awesome. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. And we have a nice little diagram here. So it says convenient to open the protection shell. So there's a nice little uh, clip thing there. It says clear sound quality. You can listen to music or talk. It says waterproof, dustproof, cable plug. Um, it has a hang rope interface. Face. So I guess we can actually have one of those ropes to go around your wrist. It has a dot shape non-slip design, a life longer power button. Okay, these are a little bit confusing terms, so I'm just reading it how it is in the box. It says excellent transparent lens makes photo more clearly. So I think they do need to work on this grammar because it's kind of bad. And it says bracket design so you can watch movies or FaceTime. And it says there's six levels of red pepper protection. So it says waterproof up to 6.6 .6 feet or 2 meters. It's fully sealed from the most minuscule and minute dust particles. Designed to design and tested to withstand shocks and drops up to 2 meters or 6.6 .6 feet again. Crystal clear anti-reflective optical lens for high quality pictures and video. Sound enhancement system for clear audio quality. And an ultra flat screen protection giving you full functionality. And so here we have a quick look of the case. It's in black. It looks very, very stealth. Very, very nice. And again, it says for the 4.7 incher. And then in the back, we have some cool, like, graphics and stuff. Again, this is Red Pepper, but it is sold by Levin. Some of their uh, cases are branded by Levin. Some are branded by Red Pepper. Red Pepper is the main company that makes these things. So it says perfect protection, waterproof case for the iPhone 6. And then we have those little symbols. And it also comes in, I believe, pink and blue. I'll double check that. And... It's, you know, here's some more interesting stuff, and it also includes that little audio cable. So let's go ahead and pop this sucker open and see what we're dealing with here. So it's pretty familiar packaging, actually. There's nothing too different from the last one. Here we have an audio cable adapter. Pretty simple, except this time there's no uh, slot to uh, plug in the little screw because it's actually rubbers now. They're little rubber seals. They're not screw-ins, which is... Uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna like that, but we'll find out if it's really effective in the water test So here we have the utmost layer with the orange little gasket So we have to make sure that that's on right and then we have a nice little white piece here Which I'm not sure what that is. I guess it's kind of covering the speaker I'm not sure if that's part of it or not and I don't want to peel that off because I don't know exactly what it's doing So that's just a little bit weird. It looks kind of bad. It's like crooked. So that's kind of bothering me and then we have this little tiny, like, I don't know, little bumper thing here. Or, I'm not sure what this is right here. It's like a little, I really don't know. There's like this little port here. It's like kind of pointless though. Maybe, oh, it's maybe a pass-through for the audio jack. Something like that. In this case is a little different. And then here we have their little stop installation checklist. And then this is the wristband holder that I was talking about. And then their microfiber cloth. And then it says for the 6 or or it says for the 6 plus kind of, but that one is not released just yet. 
we are waiting. It says for the iPhone 6 Plus. But this is for the 6. We are still waiting for the 6 Plus one, which we will have that one very soon. So be sure to check out and wait for that video. And then we have nice padding in here. It looks really different. And then right here, there's a little warning. It says make silent button aim case button slot. So you have to make the silent button like aim towards this just so you don't have any issues. And then it actually changes now. So this case is a lot different. There's like a little lever right here. If you guys can't see that, let that focus. It's like this little triangle shaped thing and you have to kind of switch it. So I guess that's how you mute and unmute your device. And then you have the volume up, the volume down, and then nice little rubber uh, uh, dimples that it was talking about in the beginning. And then here are the rubber ports now. It's not screw-ins anymore. So I'm hoping these work just as good because these don't look very promising. And then here you have the little lightning port slot, which is extremely small. And again, I don't think these things are going to be very protective, to be quite honest, especially for the submersible part. And then we have a little, like, uh, speaker phone thing here. I guess this, this is to uh, improve the audio, I'm guessing, which hopefully it actually does improve it just a little bit better. And I think it's pretty accurate because the main stereo speaker is on the right side of the iPhone 6. And I don't have an iPhone 6 here to actually show you guys, which kind of... It's a little bit disappointing. And then we have a nice little kickstand so you can put the device there. It's pretty flimsy, but it actually holds the phone very good or the case up very good. And then we have a nice little Apple window. Then we have our camera lenses, etc. So this thing's a pretty solid case. And there you go. You have the power switch to turn on the device. So let's go ahead and seal this thing up. And we're going to do our water test. So I'm going to put this in there. This thing is just huge. So I'm actually going to test this very good. So I'm going to put that in there. And let's just see if any of these things get wet. So we'll go ahead and seal this thing up. Mm, let's not put that. I don't want to bust anything. So we'll put flat stuff. So we'll go ahead and see if these items get wet. This case is a little bit different. So it's a little bit difficult to close. since It's not very similar to the other one. So there you go. It's closing much easier now. And... Get nice clips. Sounds very good. And then one final. So we have to go around it several more times to make sure it's actually fully closed. And to be quite honest, it looks really nice. It has a nice little bumpers or feet so that like it's like it doesn't necessarily scratch the table too bad. It's a pretty awesome case to be quite honest and I think they did a pretty good job with it. And of course it works with Touch ID so you have a nice little dimple here and it feels really nice actually. I like the design of it. The phone feels huge and I can't imagine how the 6 Plus is going to feel in the hand. It just feels giant already and I can barely reach the corner of the screen so it's going to be a very interesting when we actually review the one for the 6 Plus. So I have my water. I'm going to go ahead and pick this thing up. Here's the water. As you guys can see, there is actually water in there. And of course, I have a blue mug this time because, you know, it's for the iPhone 6. Let's change it up a bit because usually I do it with a orange one. So let's go ahead and make sure these are closed again. It's already touched the water, so hopefully everything's closed. It is. So we'll go ahead and put this in there. We'll put the mug on top of the case to hold it down. And let's come back in about an hour, maybe 40 minutes or so, and see how we did. Okay guys, so it's been about an hour now. The iPhone 6 case is still in there. I'm not sure if we got water in there. Who knows? We're going to have to check it out. Hopefully there isn't nothing. This is going to be live. I'm not editing out anything. So if there's water in there, oops. But hopefully not. It looks dry. So let's go ahead and dry this thing off really good so that no water actually enters the case when we open it up. We'll give it a little shake. As you guys can see, water still comes out of it as we shake it. And behind the camera, I am drying it currently very good. So, like, nothing gets in there and, you know, no little drops get in there or anything like that when we actually open up the case. So, it appears to be very dry. Very, very dry. As you guys can see, it's not too wet anymore. We'll go ahead and move the water away. It's a little bit cold since the water was a little bit cold, just a little bit. And we'll try to rub away the rest of the water. I'm not sure if any water got in these ports or anything, hopefully not, because I want to hope that this case is really good. And we'll go ahead and give it a little shake so the water comes out. And let's go ahead and open it up. Let's open up these ports 
and see exactly what happened here. So guys, I finally got it open and it appears to be no water in there. So that's a good sign. That's a very good sign actually. So let's go ahead and try to open the other port. And the inside also appears to be dry. So it's very difficult to open those ports. It took me a while to actually get it open. So I think they need to work on that. Maybe add a little bit bigger of a little grip. As you guys can see, there's like a little slot to put the lever. I think it needs to be a little bit bigger. And I have pretty long nails. I have not cut them. And it was really difficult to open. And it appears to be no water in there. So that's very good. That's a very, very good sign. But over time, these things are probably going to get very worn out as you do have to charge your phone frequently. So I'm not sure the reliability of this case is going to be very good. So let's go ahead and peel apart the case. We actually peel apart the front part first. And let's see if we got any water inside. And there's really nothing inside there. It's dry. But there are some dots, which I think splurged from the gasket here. I think it actually popped open and spread right here because it's bone dry inside of it. There is no type of moisture. So I think it actually just uh, popped out of the little gasket. I don't think that actually leaked into there. Everything else seems really dry, bone dry. This is actually a, a fabric. It's like a cloth. And that would be a lot darker than it is now if it was wet. It's bone dry. So this case did a really good job. These are bone dry. There's nothing wet here. So that's very, very impressive. I would definitely trust my iPhone in this. That's a very, very good job done by Levin there or Red Pepper, both of them. And it appears to be a very solid case. I'm not sure exactly how it would stand up to falls because, you know, some parts do seem just a little bit too cheap. But... You know, it does the job, it's very affordable, and I think the ports do just need to be a little bit uh, easier to open, but that shouldn't compromise the security of the water not getting in there. The camera lenses look very clear, the screen protector looks very clear, it's actually an improvement to the last one. The last one had these little dots inside of it, and this one has them too, but it looks a lot clearer than the iPhone 5S one. So I think that's a very good job done by Red Pepper, I'm very impressed. This case is bone dry. It totally passed my test. If you guys do purchase one of these, make sure you do this, do this test because you don't want any surprises. Just do the test once, keep your phone inside the case. Every time you open up the case, you might want to do the test again because you don't know if the gasket fell off or if you broke anything. So just be careful. This is not necessarily a life-saving thing for your device. You do have to be careful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And let me know what you guys think of this. You guys think it's cool. Um, are you guys excited for LifeProof's actually release? They're going to release it sometime this November. I'm signed up for the email, so I'll get the email as soon as it gets released. I'm really excited to see how it looks. It appears only the 6 Plus will have the NUD, but the iPhone 5S will have the free and the NUD. So this is kind of cool because this is an alternative, just in case you don't want to pay too much for waterproof protection. Um, but you do get what you get. You do get what you pay for, I should say. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again. Feel free to ask any questions and like this video. Let me know if you liked it. Check out my iPhone 5S water test video where I actually put my iPhone 5S in the water and it passed with flying colors. Check out my Samsung Galaxy S5 video. I have a bunch of videos from these Levin waterproof cases. I have no problems with them. I don't, so I do recommend checking those videos out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.